This is a research uh, study had been obtained from my PhD study in uh, 1918. Microwave absorbing and magnetic properties of nanocomposite, copal zinc for light, barium titanate, polyaline doped paratoline sulfonic acid at frequency X band. Well, The aim of this study, the Nicholson was wire method was applied to find the complex relative permittivity and complex relative permeability, which is the key to obtain the reflection noise of the electromagnetic interference shielding. This is the final questions of these serious uh, equations of the Rose wire. Of Nicholson Rose wire. There is for about 40 formula. We are applied and reach. This is the final uh, formula to, uh, to get the reflection laws of the composite nanomaterial. Uh, this is the impedance matching where uh, equal the under square permeability over uh, permittivity. This is the key of the reflection rules, uh, of, the, of the reflection rules, how to, we can find it by this applied of this formula. We can see all the uh, details in the next. Well, introduction. Microbe absorber, absorbers have been widely used in various applications of electromagnetic interference shielding. And um, in a microbe region of expand, that means the range of eight to 12 gigahertz through high importance in the number of fields, such as medical, civilian, engineering, or military technology where I widely investigate nowadays. Well, since the nanocomposites are currently being used in a wide field, therefore the developing here are being continuously, continuously in nanomaterials that have been used in shielding. To prevent or minimize electromagnetic reflection from large structures such as aircraft, ships, tanks, electronic device like communication or fire and also cover walls of eco chambers. Electromagnetic shield shielding depends on two basic mechanisms, reflection rules and absor absorption rules, which are responsible for a major part of the shielding. Therefore, shielding theory is based on transmission through uh, metals and reflection from the surface of the metal as shown in the figure. This is the schematic the presentation of electromagnetic shielding. This is the electromagnetic waves incident on the material. This is the absorber. Inside, will be the electromagnetic waves will be attenuated and the other will be reflected, reflected wave. So we must we go uh, get a good absorber to uh, prevent the uh, hazard of the electromagnetic waves, uh, as we know they are in uh, our life. Several studies have been uh, study uh, of microwave absorber of shielding the first one, uh, we take uh, copal for light with pani. This is our uh, uh, paper and will be uh, published in the Applied Physics Journal as Scopus, uh, uh, Scopus uh, Thumbs Writer. Also, uh, we have another uh, get uh, this uh, nanocomposite copal with pani mixing with ratio one to one showed a good reflection loss or so-called power uh, absorption, minus 28.4 dB decibel, and 29.8 percentage at 8.1 gigahertz in the first stage of the frequency, and uh, 9.6 uh, less than 80 percentage at uh, 11 gigahertz. 
Also, we, we take another uh, paper. Also, we have published in the Applied Physics A, microbe absorbed material. We take uh, copal zinc fluoride with bani, with, with bani those paratonin cell families. Showed uh, this uh, this paper all also show good reflection loads, uh, but we have uh, take the maximum absorption and the higher uh, and the high frequency as as we see. Uh, it's opposite of the, the first one. Another paper we have see uh, the nickel uh, nickel copper with nanocrystal. Uh, other study or nickel uh, with nano uh, uh, sphere absorbable thickness with uh, two millimeter reflection loads what was be uh, minus uh, db and also on and different uh, frequency well experimental work and this study three main materials was used polyalanine conductive polymer was prepared by chemical oxidation of aniline uh, monomer then doping with paratoline sulfonic acid as emeraldine salt. The second one, the rhyme magnetic cobalt zinc for light. And the third one, barium titanate prepared by the co-precipitation method. And this was prepared by Solgel, Sol, Solgel method, the, the, the thermal mag magnetic. This is the diagram of repairing the pani. As, as we see, uh, the procedure of, of preparing, it's, it's listed and uh, we can uh, maybe, uh, maybe the, uh, explain it or maybe uh, skip it. Uh, but uh, as you saw, and we, we have two big cup, an ice bath, this is the ice bath, uh, distilled water, uh, plus paratoline serving with stirring of, uh, at uh, zero to five uh, degree, in the ice bath, mi minus five. Uh, after one hour, annealing were added to, to this beaker. And the, the, the second beaker was ammonium persulfide with distilled water, with stirring for one hour, uh, also in the ice bath, zero to five degree. Mixing for one, one hour, uh, stirring uh, at uh, the same uh, ice bath, Zero to five degree precipitated collected uh, uh, filter. Then precipitated. This is the uh, after uh, collected the, the, the two beaker. The two beaker. We get this precipitated uh, emeraldine salt and we filter it and so on. We we get the the pani the uh, paratoline sulfic acid. Also, this is a diagram. Preparing of copal zinc for light by soldier method, or auto composition method. Uh, uh, th this method, where we take copal or zinc nitride R1X, uh, the iron uh, take two uh, twice, uh, three, three uh, for uh, for the copal, but the citric acid will be three times from the copal and the iron. All they they will be collected in the distilled water, mixing continual uh, stirring, uh, and the pH be uh, adjusted to the seven ammonium by by adding the ammonium solution, and then we will uh, heating uh, between uh, 30 degree to 22 degree on the magnetic stir uh, hot magnetic stir. Uh, the, the continuance of uh, heating will, will get the brown precipitated, then will be then this uh, brown precipitated will be sold and it will be gel and will be dry gel, then auto composition, then the auto composition will be burned as the ash and milling the powder, then we take the centering of the, the ash powder by this uh, at uh, uh, 400 degree. 600 degree, 800 degree, and 1,100 degree for three hours, as we see in this uh, pictures. This is the distal water. Uh, this is the peak. Uh, the, the pH meter will be uh, adjusted for seven. Uh, the, the gel, the soil, the environment, uh, as we, we see, the, this is the, the ash tree. 
and this is the final powder, nano powder, will be then centering at uh, fairness at uh, different uh, temperature, and we get the final samples for uh, testing. Also, the, the, the third one uh, flowchart uh, of the preparation steps of barium titanate powder. Uh, we take distilled water on 0.12 uh, molar uh, barium nitride, then 0.12 uh, molar uh, titanium oxide fine precipitate, the, then 0.4 uh, oxalic acid added drop by into the micro mixture under uh, regulation uh, stirring. Then the suspension was continuous on magnetic stirrer with, with uh, low heat uh, at two hours. Then the, the, the fracture, uh, to, to fracture the uh, oxy titanium oxide, a glorometer, if you have magnetic uh, bar inside the solutions. The pH meter here will adjust it to the 5.5. Then the uh, resulting precipitated white fine uh, particles. Uh, then the drying, we take drying at 80 degrees to, for 12 hours. Then the barium titanate confirmed strongly temperature at eight, uh, 800 or 1,000, uh, uh, 900, 000 for three hours and for 5.5 uh, five hours. And this uh, uh, stage, we, we have, we, we can need the firmness up, uh, to uh, reach the, their uh, work uh, be, be at more than thousand uh, degree, but we don't found this uh, firmness in our uh, lab in, in Iraq. Uh, then characterize the sample. Figure four shows the, the preparation of uh, barium titanate. As we seen, this is the pH meter will, will be uh, adjusted to five. This is the, this sample we get the drying, and this is drying, and this is the uh, at, at the furnace. Then we we take this sample to the characterize. Now, sorry, synthesize of the of non recombinant After we we prepare these these samples, copper zinc provide barium titanate and uh, bainite. We, we call it a copal zinc for light barium uh, polyanemia. The feed nano composite was mechanical blending and coded as copal zinc for light uh, barium uh, bunny. The force of the group were copal zinc for light by P1, P2, P3, P4. And there's there are blending percentage as seen in table one. This table have, uh, is, uh, what's shown uh, is, is uh, present uh, copal zinc for light 0.5, 0.45, the barium tin 0.45, the, the panning will be 0.1. The total weight will be get it one gram. Also, the, the second uh, group with 0.35, the, we, 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 we uh, start to decrease the quantity of the panning. We start from 0.1 then 0.25, then 0.5, then 0.75, and with the same uh, uh, quantity of the uh, between uh, the um, uh, copal zinc perlite and barium titanate. Well, the nanocomposite was pressed as polygram in dimension 2.5, 2.2, multiplied 0.9, multiply 1.2 centimeter cube as shown in this figure. As shown in this figure. Well, the, the reflection rod, the reflection S11 and S22, uh, uh, and the, sorry, the reflection S11 and transmission S21 is the parameter we have, we obtained by using the vector network analyzer, the vector frequency and the uh, frequency range A to 12 gigahertz. This is the, uh, the web guide. We, we, we put the, the sample uh, above. We, uh, and this web guide, 
and we get the parameter of S11 and S21, the reflection and transmission. This data will be, uh, it's very important. And uh, for, for each sample, we, uh, we give uh, 200 readers for the uh, range of frequency A212. Well, results and discussions. We first start in the XRD for the, the, the three sample. We get the XRD uh, for uh, PANI. And we, as we see in, in this uh, the, uh, figure, it was observed a broad angle scattering peaks from 20.15 to 25 from here to here. This is the, the, the broadband of the peak. Uh, that means there is a characteristic of the uh, crystalline of the polyanilin. Also, we get uh, the XRD for the characteristic of the copper zinc for light. This figure, this peaks is uh, confirm uh, that uh, the the sample of the the non the the material of uh, copper zinc for light is uh, a spinel for light and uh, confirmed by this peak crystalline. This peak against the line, 22. And this uh, will, will be uh, at, we will take uh, the, all uh, peaks take the uh, degree of uh, centering, 22, uh, 22 degree, uh, 400, 600, 800, and 1,100. We take the best one, we, we all uh, uh, result with, Found the, the this uh, crystalline be formed, and that uh, we we get the best one for 600 for our res next result for uh, taken to be uh, characterized and uh, tested by the peak analyzer. All the peaks were were matched with the standard pattern of bulk cobalt for right JCPDS 22 uh, 10. Uh, 1086 and well matched with the standard pattern JCPDS data for the cobalt and zinc for light. So this this is the for light is a nanoparticle by this uh, peak of that uh, peak crystalline of the material. Well, also. Uh, the result of the copper zinc for light, we, uh, the characteristic we have taken, the lattice constant and crystalline uh, size, and uh, by, by the peak of the, the peakest uh, uh, of the crystalline, we take the 311, and we, 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 we get the uh, last, uh, last, lattice constant by a several uh, formula. We applied it. We, we take the, the, this number at the six one. We have the last constant a a point three, and the crystalline size three point zero eight, uh, uh, density and uh, loping hood uh, of a and b, zero point three and zero point two. Well, also we can we, we get the uh, characteristic of the barium titanate. Uh, figure shows the sample of drying temperature IT, and then. At centering temperature 18, 800,000 for three hours and for 5.5 hours, respectively, and, uh, and this peak. Results are confirmed by crystalline structure of barium at 1,000 degree, but the phase is not distinguished very well as we require. Then the another uh, try applied by increasing the time of the cancellation of temperature to from three. Uh, hour one to 5.5 hours. And the XRD, and no change uh, in result uh, from the barium tin, which is appeared in the form of the, which powder tin to yellow. XRD show three strong at uh, two theta, this, and particle size will be uh, also uh, take it uh, one, at the biggest one, 104, was 20. Uh, 23.4 and 0.4 nanometer respectively. Well, morphology was taken also the atomic force microscope for this uh, uh, three material. Uh, 
the atomic force for the uh, pani and the atomic force of copal zinc for light. Uh, and that, uh, this copal zinc for light, uh, we make uh, the, a difference compulsion uh, between the measurement of XRD and FA, FA We We saw the copal zinc for light, 26.25, uh, the size particle is 26.26. Uh, but for uh, we found in the atomic uh, force microscope three times. Why this nanometer will be increased? Because this is uh, the XRD take the uh, for the single uh, crystal, uh, while the atomic force more than uh, one for multiple uh, uh, size of the crystalline. So it will be three times uh, more than uh, twenty six. Well, also atomic force was taken for the barium titanium. Therefore, the, uh, another test we have to uh, get uh, of uh, this uh, material and uh, the three material, FTIR for PANI, and uh, uh, this uh, absorption band, vibration band will, will be appear carbon, carbon, uh, citrine chain, and citrine of benzide of quind uh, ring and uh, benzide bead. And the training of secondary aromatic air and so on. Well, also we have co copal zinc for by the FTIR, the absorption will be uh, whole and the, these two peaks appear, and th this band will, will be appear here. If you, the fuel electric also we take the, 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 uh, this, uh, the FTIR and the same uh, method of the uh, radius metal. Well, the magnetic propulsive VSM tested at the University of UKM at Malaysia, because this device is not uh, an Iraq. Uh, I, I, we have not uh, the VSM uh, device in Iraq. I don't, uh, Dr. Osman, if uh, the, the VSM uh, device uh, in Turkey has exists in your university or not uh, for the future uh, uh, research. This is the VSM uh, test sample at the University of UK in Malaysia. Take it, send it by, by the email. And VSM copal zinc and copal zinc for light uh, show the magnetic curve like uh, S, shared history uh, absence, negligible uh, remnants, and corrosivity. And the cor uh, corrosivity created a super paramagnetic uh, character and single domain and the nanocrystalline uh, copal zinc for light. Uh, this is the reference of the PhD, and where the corrosivity and domain character of nanometer is mostly certified by demagnetization uh, resin, the single domain or going around. Also, we 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 got the uh, VSM uh, for the copal zinc for light barium pani, the magnetic history loop. Have you seen? Has been achieve the saturation magnetization, the magnetic saturation value of 6.5 or 5 uh, electromagnetic unit per gram, and remiss, uh, remnant uh, magnetization was 1.3 uh, electromagnetic unit per gram, and corrosivity was 125.5 Gauss or forestry. Magnetic properties of dynamic composite was uh, appear in this Table as we uh, now we have uh, the electromagnetic uh, magnetic interference shielding, the uh, relative complex permittivity and permeability, the response of the nanocomposite material to the incident microwave in general are characterized by two fundamental pa parameters: relative complex permittivity, as we saw in the, the first uh, slide. Uh, it's depend on the uh, complex permittivity and relative complex permeability. These parameters were used to find the electromagnetic interference shielding in a micro region X band, 8 to 12 gigahertz. This is the uh, this uh, uh, figures are for the relative permittivity of cobalt zinc for light panning, and uh, this is the uh, 
for the real part, and this is for the imaginary part, cobalt zinc for light panning, uh, and uh, the permittivity. And the th third uh, figure, the cobalt zinc for light panning for the perme real impermeability uh, and the Im imaginary part of the real uh, imaginary part of the permeability of cobalt zinc for light panning. And this is for the cobalt zinc for light panning, uh, barium with panning. Also the permittivity, real and imaginary, and the permeability for real and imaginary. Reflection rules of cobalt zinc for light. The, the reflection rules uh, of electromagnetic shielding was confirmed through complex reflect, uh, as, as we said, real permittivity and complex permeability in micro region A to 12. Result of sample of cobalt zinc for light bani, uh, barium uh, bani 3 with ratio weight as uh, one to one one, sorry, previous, uh, was found to be uh, the best one in comparison of their subgroup. This is the, the, the third one in the green line, uh, in the green line, have the best uh, uh, reflection which we, we, we get approximately here. The best one at uh, more than 11.6 gigahertz. The table uh, Louis reflection with of copal zinc for light barium bunny and the X band 8 to 12 gigahertz. We have seen the number one give minus 3.7 the reflection at 8.1 gigahertz, while the 0.043 for at 10 to uh, 9 to uh, 9.5 gigahertz and minus 4.5.88 at the gigahertz uh, 10 uh, to 11. Well, we have seen the, this difference uh, value. This uh, line and the yellow part and the yellow uh, appear the copal zinc for light barium bunny. And the, we have get the fraction loss minus 5.56 uh, at 8.1 gigahertz. And you have the difference. This is uh, this number you have. Uh, you look, there are very uh, maximum uh, difference. And also we have uh, minus 33.27 the uh, reflection dB at uh, 10.9 to 11.6 gigahertz. Conclusions. Microwave absorbing material, nanocomposite, copal zinc, barium, bunny, was prepared and characterized by XRD, AFM, FTIR, VSM, and uh, v, uh, vector network analyzer. The reflection was of electromagnetic shielding was confirmed through relative complex permittivity and permeability. The nanocomposite uh, CZFP3 with ratio 112 show the best value of reflection was than other sample result, as we see. So this significance recorded of maximum power absorption and the microbe expansion strongly can be dependent in wide application of shielding, such as military radar absorbing material or other application like biomedical communication or any other civilization applied. Thank you.